Have you heard of the band Hers? You may know them from this song. Is that cool? If you haven't heard of them, then you should definitely check them out. And this is why. Hers was an indie rock duo from Liverpool, England. The group consisted of Stephen Fitzpatrick and Auden Lauding. Stephen was the lead vocalist and guitar player, and Auden played bass and did backing vocals. They met each other at the Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts and started Hers while they were still students. They initially bonded over their love for artists like Arielle Pink so and Mac DeMarco. Uh but before they created hers, they actually played in another Liverpool band called Sundogs. Man, I did mean. They released their debut single, Dorothy, in April of 2016. Steven's deep, mesmerizing vocals I just want to feel all right. contrast so well with his floaty falsetto. <laughs> That paired with the upbeat guitar and driving bass line make a really compelling debut track. After releasing a few more singles, they put out a nine track album, Songs of Hers, in May of 2017. This was a compilation of a lot of singles that they put out before, like Dorothy, Marcel, What Once Was, Speed Racer, and I'll Try, along with four new tracks. Although they performed most of the instrumentals themselves, they actually used a drum machine for their percussion, even though Adam was a drummer. They actually named the drum machine after Ireland's James Bond, Pierce Brosnan. They opted for a drum machine instead of adding a third member to the band because they booked their first gig without even having a set together. Everything came so naturally for them and Steven just happened to have an old drum machine his dad gave him a while back. They also felt that they could better preserve their dynamic if they didn't add a third member. My overall thoughts on the project is that there's not a bad song on it. I love how the production feels very psych rocky and shoegazy at points because of the heavy effects. I never get tired of Steven's angelic false Seto ooze and Auden's catchy bass lines. And the mix of arpeggio guitar and chords played at once makes the album feel very dynamic. They also find such a good balance of upbeat and slow songs. The album just feels so much like the ups and downs and feelings when you experience a fresh breakup. There are times where I feel like even the instruments are on the verge of tears. The band later released their debut full-length album, Invitation to Hers, in August of 2018. An acoustic performance of this album was featured in BBC's Music Introducing. An invitation to hers, their production is noticeably more polished, especially in songs like Manny Smile and Breathing Easy. Even though they branched out in their stylistic choices, the iconic hers sound still rings true in this project. My overall thoughts on this project is that it definitely feels like they experimented more with production, adding in different synths and percussive noises. They also experimented more with taking influences from different genres, like the funk influence in If You Know What's Right, and the more conventional pop influence in Manny Smile. They play with song structure more too, and even add in moments of silence like in Breathing Easy's intro. Overall, this just feels more polished and versatile, but I like both albums equally. I also really love the rawness of their previous album. Unfortunately, Steven and Auden were killed by a drunk driver in a car accident in Arizona while they were touring. Hers was an astonishing group of musicians. Their knack for crafting infectious melodies and dreamlike production was truly incredible. You can really feel their passion and genuine love for music in everything they create. So if you haven't heard of hers, they are definitely worth a listen. Rest in peace, Stephen Fitzpatrick and Auden Lauding. <laughs>